Hey you, yeah you who clicked on this video, thanks for giving our channel a shot. And if you will, please do us the honor of watching the video all the way through. Appreciate it. Now onto the video. So, 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 what a tangle web we weave when we seek to deceive. And that's what we see with the uh, Jonathan Major situation. So, before we get started with what's going on right now, yeah, I remember when I had made that video about talking about, you know, how... Uh, especially with Holly Weird, uh, you know, everybody writes off um, black talent before the facts come in. Well, I hate to say I told you so, but you know what it is. So, what do we got here? Well, Jonathan Majors, a uh, turn, a, a twist. Uh, I, the tables have turned in the situation because it seems as though uh, his ex, who accused him of domestic violence and assault, Grace Jabari, uh, might be facing some issues of her own. So, in some new evidence that has come to light via Jonathan Majors' attorneys, it looks like uh, Miss Jabari will be. Uh, in fact, arrested uh, due to the fact that she not only fabricated part of her story, according to the evidence, but it also looks like uh, she is the one that assaulted Mr. Majors in the first place. So let's talk about it. Well, this is according to the New York Times. Says New York Police Department has determined that a woman who accused the actor Jonathan Majors of assault attacked Mr. Majors herself and believe that there is enough evidence to support her arrest, according to three people with knowledge of the matter. Mr. Majors, who starred in Creed 3 and was to appear in several movie uh, Marvel movies, was arrested in March after the woman, Grace Jabari, told the police that he had assaulted her during a taxi ride to his home in Manhattan. Ms. Jabari, who had been in a relationship with Mr. Majors for several years, said he slapped her face, but put his hands on her neck and violently grabbed her hand, according to court records. Two months later, prosecutors filed an update account of the incident in which Ms. Jabari no longer accused Ms., uh, Mr. Majors of having grabbed her neck, but said that he had pushed her into a vehicle. She maintained that he had slapped her in the face and said that Mr. Majors had grabbed only her middle finger, not her full hand. A lawyer for Mr. Majors, Priya Chandri, has said that the charges are false and that, in fact, Ms. Jabari, who assaulted her client, she also said that Ms. Jabari, a dancer who had worked as a movement coach on one of Mr. Majors' movies, stole personal belongings from his home. So, yeah, um... This is just getting more and more intricate as uh, as it goes. But from what it looks like, it looks like the only person who did right by Jonathan Majors was Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie, who uh, said, you know, that in this country, everyone is uh, innocent until proven guilty. And I cannot uh, say that I disagree in any way, shape, form or fashion with Mr. Mackie's interpretation, because that's the same interpretation I had and the same interpretation everybody is supposed to have when it comes to court of law so everybody that told me on twitter jonathan majors is an abuser he abused that woman you don't know jonathan majors i don't know jonathan majors but what i do know is i know facts and evidence and i know that i'm smart enough to wait for facts and evidence before i decide that somebody needs to be condemned so i mean that's just it's just something that you're supposed to know but in this day and age especially with you know the times ups and the me too's and all the other nonsense uh everybody seems to want to call the game before the last play is in before the tape comes back and you just can't do that uh, if the Johnny Depp situation taught you nothing it's that uh, and I hate to say this but I'm gonna have to white girl tears don't mean nothing okay Emmett Till should have taught y'all that white girl tears don't mean nothing black little boy got killed over some white girl tears and we haven't learned not a damn lesson almost almost a century later i mean come on guys we we really need to do better we need to do better and the fact that this had to go this far the fact that the district attorney had to drag this out the fact that um her say so was enough to get him into a situation is proof enough that we really need to take a hard look at our judicial system especially in certain states like new york before we just say hey you know 
They, she said it, you did it. And then you have to prove your innocence, which goes against every tenet of uh, due process that we have in this country. But, you know, hey, what do you guys think? Do you think that uh, given this new situation, this new evidence, that it makes you see the Jonathan Majors uh, case in a different light? Or do you still believe that based on this woman's testimony and her accusations that she is, in fact, the victim and Jonathan Majors is an abuser? Sound off in the comments section below. We'll see you on the next one. 8-Bit Heroes out. Peace. If you'd like to get a shout out on the channel, then hit that like button, maybe share it with a couple of friends, and do us the biggest honor of all, and subscribe to the channel so you can join the 8-Bit Heroes family. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when our new videos come out.